I don't know how you guys are, but like, you know, theming your phone with cars. It's been a year. Let's check out my 2017 Focus ST. Today's video is we're going to be going over my last year of ownership with the Focus ST, kind of how it drives, the things that I like about it, and then any kind of plans that I have for it that I'll be sharing with you in the months and weeks to come. So I also don't have good audio or footage. It's okay. We're going to deal with it, but it's going to look cool. So this is my first manual car. It's my first turbo car. Uh, it's the first car that I've driven and felt like I didn't have to do anything to it because it was already agile, you know, speedy, fast, quick enough, whatever. So that's, that's been nice. And, uh, it's not to say that I won't do anything to it. Uh, it's just right now with school and work and everything, I do everything full time. Uh, we'll have to see now if enough of you watch and subscribe, do that right now. We'll see what happens. But at the time of recording, it's mostly stock. But it's a lot of fun, and we will have fun with the car. So let's talk about the manual side of things. It's got a six-speed manual transmission. The clutch in the beginning did feel a little weird when you, you know, I'm doing leg motions, but when you <laughs> push in the clutch with the original spring, it was very, uh, like halfway through, it felt like it got stiffer. I don't know, I switched that out with like a Stata, state, I don't, I don't remember. Maybe I'll have a link on screen. But anyways, that was the only part that I really changed. I changed the air filter. You can hear the, uh, the whooshes and everything. I haven't told anyone what I bought. Uh, I did the green air filter and you can actually really hear the difference. Uh, and it's been fun. But as far as the manual goes, that's, that's about all that I, that I really changed. Let's talk about acceleration. So the thing with this car is that it is an inline four turbo manual hatchback. So you're not going to be, you know, performante Tesla plaid accelerating, but manufacturer quoted zero to 60 is I think 5.6 seconds. And I don't think I've ever done that to be honest with you. Another thing to consider is that Everything you've seen on the channel has been slow up until this point. So I'm used to like an old Cavalier, an Impala, an older Mustang, a Cruze, all these sort of Econo, Econo, Econo box cars. And so this is a big step up. The biggest thing is, first of all, when I do want to go fast, I can't. <laughs> it's just my luck. I'll look around and then I'll see something and I won't, I won't go fast. It'll be a bad call. That, and then also, I'm just, I, I don't drive that far. I, I don't have opportunities to. By the time I get to where I'm going in my week, the engine isn't even halfway warmed up or the oil temp, you know, and none of that. So it is fast. And I love doing little pulls in like second and third, especially if you get to like a corner that you know will line up perfectly and you can just haul ass out of it. I mean, it's, it's great. And I really, really want to either this year or next year, we're going to go to a racetrack. So we'll, we'll try to line that up. That's what uh, this is here for. All right, man. Look, this is I know crazy. it's not the real thing, but I'd rather have a little bit of something 
instead of going to the track and not being ready to drive, let alone preparing the car with, you know, brakes. Because look, there's a lot of things you have to do before you go to a track. So we'll have to work that out, but that'll be part of the fun. As far as the driving goes, that's where we're learning here. But to get back to acceleration, like I said, 5.6 seconds, it's pretty quick when it wants to be quick and when I want to be quick. <laughs> I, I enjoy the car though, it's a lot of fun. Now, when it comes to driving, you know, steering wheel, handling, all that, the only thing that I haven't been able to figure out how to do well has been heel-toe downshifting. Now, I've tried and hasn't really gone that well so I, I need to work on it but and look I also understand that this is a very cheap steering wheel but it isn't to say that I can't somehow kind of learn how to heel toe and then apply it in my real car we'll see about that I'm gonna learn well I'm gonna attempt to learn a lot of things and uh, you know if you guys keep watching if people enjoy it if I get fast and faster and become the fastest I won't be racing with like $200 equipment we might upgrade beyond learning it in a simulation I could also learn it in the car and take you along w with me for that ride um, we'll see about that you can be pretty damn sure you're gonna be seeing me and some friends uh, racing so it'll, it'll be a good time but back to the the ST I'm not good at heel toe down shifting that was the whole segue as far as the manual I think I said already but it's pretty notchy it feels good um, it is a daily and I've driven it I bought it in February I bought it a year ago today so I've had it for exactly a year and when it gets really cold like when we're talking 10 to 20 degrees uh, <laughs> it's stiff like everything is very stiff, but also soft. I know it's not broken, it's just the temperature. I don't mind it. Yeah, I do. I do mind it because I have to sit there and wait for the car to warm up. Uh, and that's just me being nice. I know I technically don't have to, but I do that anyways. Uh, I wait until the RPMs drop and it takes a while in the winter. You know, that's, that's, the, only, that's the only real gripe I think with with this car, uh, that and stiffness, but we'll get to that in a little bit. And to get specific about the numbers, so when you go and you, you're looking at STs to buy, um, there are a couple things to consider. First of all is uh, the horsepower, right? And then mods, I stayed away from those. I have mud flaps and winter tires. But as far as mods go, and then horsepower and everything, where I'm sitting at, I believe it's 270 stock, 275, somewhere around there. And like I said, that's, that's fast enough. I think I might want more power, we'll see. So now that we've got a lot of that out of the way, we've talked about the car, we're having a good time. We all love the Focus ST because it's blue and it's manual, save the sticks. Let's cut over to the driving portion of the video. I'm gonna have clips here or there just to kind of give you a little bit of a feel for the car. So let's do that. Today, I'm finally talking about the Ford. Step one, it's gonna be a car wash. Cause you know, I've had it for a year. I don't wanna show it off looking like shit. So uh, car wash first. Oh. Hell yeah, brother, we're getting clean. What we're going to do is we're going to get on the highway and experience the Focus ST. Are you back? Kind of. Let's see if we can salvage this. All right, 
right, so I know it's nighttime, but let's talk about it. The car itself is, it's been great. There's a couple roads around where I live where they're pretty twisty. The speed limit is low, but that's fine. Turning, man, handling, all of it, it's, it's great. I, I will say it is stiff, uh, but you know, that's to be expected. That's probably the biggest downside is if you go on a long road trip, that's kind of what we experienced was uh, it just feels stiff over time. But that's fine because on that same road trip, you're still having fun hauling ass, doing whatever. Man, I'm like really disappointed that this is the only view that you get. So the other thing is when I'm downshifting, I can do that fine. But heel toe, I, I'm, I just, heel toe, no, not happening. We're about to turn onto the highway and we'll see what that's like and just Well, we can just go on a cruise. We don't gotta go on the highway. Look, you you know that this thing will do some illegal speeds. And yeah, let's let's just have fun. Just get to experience the Focus ST. So let's talk about what I've done to it then if we're not gonna like haul ass or whatever. I added a ring, wi ring wiser, <laughs> a wing riser. Uh, I did a shorter antenna. Please don't fall over. Thank you for not falling over. I think the most interesting side of this all is when you get a new car, you typically go and you're going to probably follow all of the people who you look up to when it comes to owners of that car. So like I went from on Instagram and everywhere else following people with Impalas and interesting cars like the W body cars. And now I'm following all of the Focus ST and the RS guys. And there's a lot of stuff that I can grab inspiration from. And I think that's a really cool thing. I would love to have like some kind of catalog of all the different cars and their communities on Instagram where you can just pick through it like a book. Someone should do that and maybe I will. But my point in bringing that up is there's a lot of stuff we can do with this car. So if 
there's anything in mind. I mean, look, I really want an exhaust. I want to go to the track. That's, that's, that's been my year of ownership of the Focus ST. So, I mean, I love having the hot hatch. It's nice to load it up. It's fast. It accelerates. It turns. It's a manual. It's blue. It's a blue car. It's like my favorite color. And there's a lot of plans for the rest of the year. We're going to be racing. <laughs> Me and some other people are going to be racing. So subscribe, hit the like button. Be sure to come back because there's going to be more of this and more of that. So thanks for watching. See you in the next one.